exciting, and May is just right around the corner. So there is no better time than now for us to share some thoughts we've had for the mighty Alatrion. Alatrion, however it's pronounced. I still prefer to call Rathalos Rathalos instead of Rathalos. Anyway, potato, potato. Hime, you want to share some thoughts before I get into this? Sure. What I remember about this monster is that he was powerful and he was dropping ice cubes. I also remember that I was wearing patisserie armor and took dash juice and kept running when we were fighting against him. Well, I hope you don't forget the dash juice this time, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more running. Oh no! Yeah, and it's probably got a couple new tricks up his sleeve too. Anyway, is it my turn? It's my turn. I was there when Capcom first introduced the Alatrion back on Monster Hunter Try on the Nintendo Wii, which if you ask me was probably the best online experience Monster Hunter ever had. Those hubs were so much fun then, and I missed the connections that I made too. So I am very excited to be facing off against this magnificent beast once more. Also it will also be What Are You Gaming's first time, so I am looking forward to sharing this experience with him. What I have to admit I'm a little less hopeful about is the armor and weapons that will be crafted from this hunt. Let me explain why. So far, Monster Hunter World has had two large Elder Dragon hunts, not including Xenojiva. The Kulf Taroth and the mature form of Xenojiva, Safi Jiva. We could craft armor from the monsters, but not the weapons. The weapons were a lottery, if you will. You didn't really know what you were going to get, and I didn't have an issue with that. My concern is this. What kind of weapons will we get from the Alatrion? I know what weapons they've had in the past. Trust me, I'd like to get my hands on that pink goo hammer again. But the interesting thing is, the Alatrion is a dragon that has the mastery of all the elements except water. And the Alatrion weapons always came with the dragon element. And I feel like Capcom may have missed an opportunity here. How? Well, the Cold Taroth weapons are raw damage weapons that have high elemental potential through the free element skill. Then later, the Kajar, Yar, or however you pronounce it, weapons came with the crit status or crit element with an element attached to them. Though if you ask me, the only element really associated with the Cold Taroth is fire. Then we have the Sefi Jiva weapons which had the unique perk of adding bonus armor skills from existing armor sets, if combined with the corresponding armor pieces. For example, if you had the Glavinous armor skill, all you needed was a few extra pieces and you would get the complete skill to your armor set. They also offered multiple upgrade options to adjust the weapon to fit your playstyle. I really enjoyed this. But these weapons too, come available with all the elements. And I don't recall Safi Jiva having a mastery over multiple elements either. So what can we expect from the Alatrion weapons this time? I feel like this time they got a little mixed up. The Kulf Taroth and Safi Jiva weapons should have been elementless or fire and all the cool elemental variants could have been assigned to the Alatrion weapons. Of course they could aim to make the armor a crit elemental set as they have done in the past, but They've already assigned that to the Silver Rathalos armor. I don't want to see them repeat the same thing they did with the Kulf Taroth and Safi Jiva weapons. So what I would like to see this time, since they went all out on elemental weapons previously, is I'd like to see a living armor set that changes its elemental weakness based on the elemental weapon you use. And if you get hit with that element, it activates resentment at level 5 and raises your affinity by some odd X percent. Oh, th did the music just run out? I will have to start that back up again. So if you use an ice weapon, your thunder defense drops tremendously, but you get stronger when hit by that element. I like risky armor sets or armor sets that feel alive, like the Namiel armor set or the agitator skill or latent power. Though it's not likely Capcom will do this, I love daydreaming up ideas, and I'd love to see what you guys think or what you would want from a new Alatrion armor or weapon. And that's all we got for this weekend. 
Join us next weekend as the old guys and Rika take on the master rank called Taroth and share some extra thoughts we've had about Monster Hunter World. Thanks for watching.